welcome back. So in this video, we're gonna to start to talk about pain and obstacles. And we've moved inside because just it was starting to get a little bit glary out there. So squinting my eyes. So we're inside the studio and let's talk about pain and let's talk about obstacles. Um, they are things that as a general rule, most population, they run away from. We don't like to accept that we don't like pain. Shit hurts. It doesn't have to be physical pain. It can just be emotional pain. But the problem is when we keep running away from that stuff, we never get stronger. We get weaker and weaker and weaker and we become that person which is, woe is me. It's a bit like that old cartoon, Caramello, the little chick walked around with half the egg in his head. The sky is falling, the sky is falling. Well, the sky ain't fucking falling. Might just get grey, might get dark, might be a storm coming, but it ain't falling. So, what I need you to understand is this. You need to embrace pain. Your past failures from your health and fitness, where you have been responsible and not someone else, yes you, you need to accept them. They are part of you. They are part of why you are where you are today. For those who've embraced them and you've got to this now and you're just looking for the next step, congratulations. But if you're the whiner, the whinger, and the little suck that just wants to blame others, then you need to wake up. I was that person. I thought I bossed it, and then you know what, when shit wasn't happening for me, I would blame others, look at them. It's a bit like we see now, instant gratification on Snapchat, on Instagram and Facebook. Oh, look at me, compete, compete at me, 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 me. And as soon as we see someone else doing a little bit better, oh, that bitch looks shit. That bloke's a wanker. We use excuses because we don't like the pain that that's actually putting us in our own reality. So here's an example of pain that I just want you to go through. And this is illustrative, you'll get the point. And if you don't, man, you need to wake up. Grab your phone, go and get your phone. I want you to open up your maps, Google Maps, whatever. And now I want you to search for a city in another country that you've never been to that you want to go to. Click on it and do it. And I'll post a little clip up here over the top. What does your phone tell you? Okay, it finds a city. Now I want you to click on directions. I want you to find directions how you can get to it. If it's like most things, and in my example, I think I chose New York City from Sydney, it can't map a path. So I'm now frustrated. I now have an obstacle. The phone can't fucking help me. So I'm feeling pain. Let's make this easier. Go to your hometown. I'm in Sydney, so I'm going to map Bondi Beach. I map Bondi Beach, it comes up, it gives me a route. What does it do? It's given me a solution. Oh, great, I've got a solution. I can get there. It's given me the fastest way there. It's a straight line, as people say, as the crow flies. But it's given me the straight line within a certain set of parameters. I've got a solution. Step two, I want you to go into the map, the directions, click on the options, and I now want you to remove highways. And I want you to remove tolls. Now what does it do? Again, it gives you a different solution. It gives you a longer path to get there. Because now you've said, I don't want to experience the pain of having to pay the toll. I don't want the obstacle of going onto the freeway because I don't like driving in traffic. Your life, your fitness journey is exactly like that. What tends to happen, we navigate a path. We see something, it falls in front of us, much like a car crash or a blocked intersection. I ain't freaking waiting, so I take an alternate path. It happens again at the next corner because like you, every other Tom, Dick and Harry has moved. Now I keep moving. So instead of taking the direct path, 
and maybe having some fucking patience and waiting for that path to clear, I take this. I look for instant gratification. I look for instant results. And what actually does happen, my journey, instead of taking me six months or a year to get to somewhere, takes me eight months, nine months, two years, three years. Some of us are still not fucking there. So we need to understand that pain puts us in a situation. We've got to manage the pain. So from a fitness perspective, I'm a little bit overweight. I want to lose X kilos, blah, blah, blah. Whatever it is, I start on a path. I take that gym membership. I do it. I go in. Three weeks later, fuck it. This is not for me. I sit back. I tell myself a story. Ah, that wasn't for me. I didn't fit in. They didn't care about me. It doesn't work with my lifestyle. Bullshit. You're telling yourself a story to justify the fact that you couldn't commit. You couldn't see it through. You couldn't be consistent. Did you call upon the other people that were there? The trainers, the gym manager, the salesperson, the person on the floor who smiled at you? Did you call upon the resources that are sitting right in front of your goddamn face? No. You used an excuse. You created a story. You're your own worst enemy. You're at fault, not them. I reckon if you had to ask them, one of them actually might have helped you. So when we don't get results, we lay blame. Blame stops here. Maybe what you do need to do is you need to find a path, not a solution. You need to find a path that will help you get there. You need to find a path, maybe that includes others. It may include a coach, it may include a trainer, or a dietitian, a nutritionist, a mentor, a life coach. Shit, it may even be your kids. Ask them the simplest of questions. They'll give you a kid's simple answer of you of the world. But you need a path. You need a path. You need to be accountable. You need to be consistent. You need to do shit, you need to learn, you need to chase the results and keep chasing those bloody results till you get them. Stop excusing your shit. Or if you are someone who is overweight, who is unhappy, who is struggling, who is not strong, who has a sore back, who is struggling at work, can't deal with pressure. If you are that person and you're always sitting down here, you will never be the person that you want to be up here. The go-getters, they do it. And some people don't like that. I, I myself, I don't necessarily like seeing the person that just goes after their shit and gets it. And every single time they do it, they get it, they get it, they get it. It's like, fuck, I wish they would fail. But they probably have failed. And they probably failed and probably copped it on the chin. But you know what? They've got up. And then they have said to themselves, not to anyone else, I'm going after that shit. That is mine. I will get it. I will stomp. I will rake. I will crawl. I will beat down any shit, any person that's put in my way. For some of us, we may aspire to be that. For some of us, we may not like that. That's not you. That's not your persona. But if you don't change and you don't accept the fact that the pain and the shit that you've done before won't help you overcome every obstacle that someone throws in front of you, every test, mental, physical, emotional, then you will never get to where you want to be. You will just be where you are today. You will wallow in self-pity and you have yourself to blame, not everyone else. It's like that saying, surround yourself with five people. If you don't have those five fucking people to support you, then you know what? Go find them. It's not nice. It might be that your five closest is your five family. And if they don't support you, fuck, you're in a bad situation. So go and find five others. 
it might be five colleagues, it might be five peers, it might be five complete bloody strangers. But they will support you, they will push you, they will nurture you. It might be a coach to coach you. They might give you a nudge, they might drag you by the hair. But the pain, the obstacles, it's a good thing. You need to accept that, you need to embrace that. There are no pills, there are no potions, there are no fucking magic lotions. There's no hacks, there is only facts. Stop looking for the easy path, do the damn work. 2% deposits every day. It's a coaching program that we happen to have. And if you're interested, next video we'll start talking about the path that we lay out for our clients, for myself, to do it. I'm Don McStraw. This is the Daily 2% and I run a little business called the McStraw Method.